Good morning everybody and welcome to my humble abode once again. This time I'd like to make Rapier version 2. Now the question is why would I like to make Rapier version 2? So if I go and have a look at NEI and find Rapier you'll see you've got all these different types of Rapiers here. What I was doing as I was going along here and I was playing this one's got a 6 plus 6 attack damage and if you look at it it says three hearts so I was going scrolling around and I found actually one of them which has got 14 attack damage and that's made from enderum so I reckon that's going to be a really good weapon to have so I'm going to go and start from the very basics in this particular one so I hope you enjoy this and basically when I say basics I mean it's from the the raw materials so, down to the workshop, and the first thing we need to do is to make some uh, enderum. And what I'm going to do first of all is to put into this magna crucible here four ender pearls. Now, four ender pearls represents one bucket of ender. I reckon 750, so a thousand, so four ender pearls becomes one bucket of ender. Right, I've already have actually already got another bucket there, but it, that doesn't matter. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make some metals. And the one that's hard to make, of course, is the shiny metal. So what I'm going to use is the induction smelter. And I've reconfigured this to pr increase the amount of secondary output as much as possible. And what I'm going to do here is put in sand in one side and nether redstone in the or in the other side. And what I'm looking for out of here is the um, cinnabar. I've already got plenty of cinnabar, but I'm hoping we'll get plenty of cinnabar when we actually do the um, pulverize this redstone ore. And what I can also do is put the next one in, which is going to be tin ore. We need tin, and I'm using sand all the time. Well, actually, while I come back here, let's take this over to the pulverizer and pulverize this pulverizer is this machine here and of course this has already got into it the augmentation has got the max servo so it takes a bit longer to, to process but we should find we get plenty of um, cinnabar or well, at least hopefully get one or two we only want one actually there we have it and the fact is I don't need the redstone because I've got the redstone I already need so let's go over here Go back to the induction smelter, and actually, I need this. I need some tin as well, so we'll put some silver in. Put some silver in, and the one I want is the ferrous ore. So what I want is the cinnabar with the ferrous ore. Will give me. Have I got that wrong? No, the ferrous. Oh, well, of course, yes, I have. I need to convert that to straightforward ore first of all. So you can take that from an overland quarry or a normal quarry, it doesn't matter. So here I've got two ferrous ore, two tin ore and two silver ore. Let's take those out of here, chest. And put in the induction smelter, this time I'll put the cinnabar and the ferrous. What we'll find is we will get one, three, we should get three ferrous ores plus one uh, shiny metal. Oh, I've got two shiny metals. Ah, oh, is that can't be maybe that was left them before I didn't check did I let me go back here let's check in this chest no we don't have any more cinnabar let's just do another one to be sure got plenty of cinnabar in here have I got space to carry it no let's put the move the redstone out of the way for the time being back to the induction smelter and we put the cinnabar in here Check in the output chest. And we do actually getting two shiny ingots. That's great, actually. So that was all to do with the augmentation here. I've changed it to use the the highest level, level three secondary output. So that seems to be now producing two shiny metals instead of one. So right, what we need to do now is to grind up that shiny metal, so we'll do that first of all in the pulverizer. Because we need powders for this. 
We also need to do the other um, ores. In fact, I'll put those into the slag mill, I think. So we've got silver ore. And that may produce lead ore as well. And I've got tin ore. And we need both of those. So now we've got shiny metal. We've got tin ore and silver ore. So those are the items that we also need. But we also need some blaze powder. So let's put some blaze powder in. Not the induction furnace. I want the macerator. The next machine. And that will give me five blaze powders. So. And I can also put into the into the slag mill one coal because we also need coal powder and that sometimes that coal powder will actually also give you um, sulfur so right now let's start off with the um, enderum dust so we need shiny metal silver and tin that gives me four endrum blender. It's actually plenty, so I'll take the other stuff and put it out of the way. And then we need to make the cryothium powder, I think it is. So we need coal, sulfur, blaze powder, and what's the fourth one? I can't remember, I just have to quickly look it up. So let's go back and look up and drum. So we need the endrum ingot. Here we are. Ah, oh, redstone. Now that's what I wanted the redstone for. Oh, right, okay, you've got plenty of redstone here. Right, so now we have sufficient for, oops, I threw that away, never mind, it'll come back in, let's put him back in this chest here, because we don't need so much uh, of these ores, I'll put these back these in here, because it's filling up my inventory with stuff I don't really want. Okay, we want that, right, good, and we'll put the the rich lag over here because we got some rich lag out of here and in fact I'll put this end run bucket up here because I don't need that for the time being. So into the induction smelter we put the end run powder and the pyrothium dust and that will then cook and produce for us some in the output we should have some end room ingots. We should get four. Only two. Too sufficient anyway, we only need uh, I thought we got four, so I'll check. Okay. You only need one and a half for a rapier. And the reason for that is the material cost of here. Where do I see the material cost? Actually, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, enderum ingots into the smelter. Oops, missed. Try again. In fact, I've already made some. I've already got some molten enderum here, so we can actually make this. So the material cost of this. Let's have a look. I think it's from the pattern chest. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe it's in the casts. Here we are. So as you look at the cap, here you can see the tool rod. The tool rod cost is 0.5. The sword blade cost is one. I remember from the previously that's on this one. You can't see it here, it doesn't tell you. So anyway, we'll make the end room sword blade. I shall take oh, I probably haven't got any space. Oh yes I do. Don't have any space in my in my right click. In my inventory. Oops. And you see here material cost is one. So in total we needed one and a half. So now we shall assemble 
the rapier, the one rapier. What I want to see now is whether or not it makes a difference to the durability if we use steel or the so attack damage 7 hearts, durability 1539. So if I use a steel, durability goes down a little bit, 7, but the attack damage stays at 7 and the remaining modifier stays at 4, which is probably the best one's this one because we get the full number of hearts. So we take this one. And what we're going to apply to that is we're going to apply the modifiers. And the one we need, of course, is the quartz. I'm going to apply two different types. And I'm going to see whether or not it works with um, Ceratus quartz. I haven't tried that before. So the first modifier I'm going to apply is the hardened crystal. The flux, flux crystal because that keeps it repaired nicely. And I'm not now going to try to see whether the Ceratus Quartz works. No, it does not. Can I not? Oh, maybe I can't do it that way. In fact, let's just see if that makes a difference. What, put two in here. So it's two of, oh, that gives you 24. Oh, that's, oh, that's quite good. Quartz. So, that means then we can put 64 and we get 28 so i think it's three times 24 72 anyway so we'll do that so in that case let's convert these back to serotonin quartz crystals and put in another two in here let's do it that way around of course and that gives me the 72 so this now has 72 and the damage is now 8 hearts and I've got 2 modifiers remaining. Let's carry on. I can't put more on than that. Oh yes I can. And now we have 9 hearts but we can carry on putting on more. 9.5 hearts. Ten hearts, and then we're. At, then I think we're now maxed. No more modifiers remaining, but ten hearts is a reasonably amount, large amount of damage. Let's have a look. Ten hearts, just cool. maximum. No modifiers remaining, but fairly good reliability. Let's so. Now, let's go and see what we can now do with this, because it's now night time, so we're going to have plenty of mobs. So let's go and take the. Uh, all right, this is the right side. I need it with the same side as the the, uh, the flux capacitor here. This one, the resonant flux capacitor, because it will take um, power from there, so they're using it from its own flux crystal, a uh, flux capacitor. So there we go. And there's something straight out of the door here. I would like to test particularly on the. Where's he gone to? Oops. I wanted to test it on him. <laughs> but he's just blown up. I have probably another one over here. Have I got jetpack on? No, I haven't. And what it says in here is you can hit as fast as you possibly can. Ah, we've got some, some skeletons here. I'm using the wrong one. Let me get the correct one. This is the end of your rope. Okay, something's just attacking from behind. Oh yes, one hit that time. What do we have over here? Something... Zombie issue. Yes. The one hit on the end. Oh, and he's gone. No more three, three four hits. I want to go and find a creeper though. Ah, oh, there's a creeper over here. Looking at the mini map. Straight ahead to me still. Oh, yes. Oh, and the mini went as well. 
And it has another part, it has another one as well. It's a, a throwback. Let's see if this works. Oops. I was supposed to be able to right click him. Oh. To chop the, the sugar cane down first. So I see I've got some floating gunpowder. So I'll get rid of that as well. I don't need any of these actually, I to think about it. Dirt I don't need. I'll leave the rest of them here. Number three here. Huh? What else have we got to, to test it on? An Enderman would be good. Let's see if we can see one of those. Uh, it's just a little one. An angry little one. Well, I've got red eyes. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you go. On hit on him. On hit on him. I'm still looking for Enderman to test it on. I don't see any around today, but there's something over oh, there's a, another angry zombie got the red eyes. Oops. Left clicks are more appropriate than a right click for attacking. Just one suppose a couple of skeletons down there. Not interesting. I did not test it on. Oh, there's another creeper. Okay, I think that's enough for today. It looks like it's a rather good uh, weapon, much better than I was expecting it to be. What do we have over here? Oh look. Oh. Just to get near it. Let's get rid of this skeleton first of all. <laughs> Every time I'm getting near he's shooting me, that's uh, number nine on him. Right. Number three, isn't it? Capitana. Right, he was no problem with the one hit, and he was. <laughs> Sort it out. Okay, that's it. I'll have to repair this, I don't like this damage, but that's for another day. In fact, I should. Uh, just stand here and get the all back. Okay, gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, bye for now.